uh, we will continue the topic, uh, the history of Taiwan today. This is the uh, lesson three, and we will uh, focus on the discussion of the Taiwan history uh, after uh, 1945. Uh, the first lesson, we will talk about, about the background of uh, how Taiwan was back to uh, the Republic of China. Yes, uh, let's uh, begin. During uh, World War II, uh, many Taiwanese worked in the war-related industries or in other ways abated the Japanese war effort. effort. Many Japan, uh, Taiwanese volunteer for the military service. Uh, during the time, uh, this is the between 1941 to 1945, uh, because the Japanese uh, uh, raised the Pacific War, and then. Uh, U.S. Uh, military has uh, joined uh, this uh, world war. So uh, Taiwan was uh, under the Japanese uh, colonization, and therefore people feel they should be uh, the Japanese uh, citizen and then should uh, go to the military and uh, guard uh, the country they belong. And therefore, um, U.S. Uh, has uh, sent the uh, uh, Air Force to attack to attack the Taiwan. Uh, they uh, they were bombing the, the Air Force. They were bomb the uh, oil storage depot and uh, uh, many infrastructures and the military uh, target. As you can see, um, the picture was. Uh, they were taken by the U.S. Uh, Army. The U.S. Air Force, they came to uh, Taiwan. They will destroy the uh, military service, uh, the first, and then also the uh, uh, sugar factory, because the sugar factory, they will produce the um, uh, alcohol. And then that was the, um, like, uh, oil uh, to help the uh, industry and they were bombing on the uh, Xinzhu, uh, the Air Force base and also uh, Jiayi and also Pindong. Uh, therefore that by the time in Taiwan uh, we got no plan, the Japanese got no plan uh, to fight back. They only got the, uh, some rocket. In 1943, um, U.S. and U.K. Uh, some leaders they get together, uh, then they with the Chiang Kai Shek they reach uh, agreement. They said uh, Taiwan should be restored to the Republic of China. In 1945, Japanese uh, departed the island, and the Chiang Kai Shek has uh, sent uh, military forces to replace. Japanese uh, colonial administration. And that was the time uh, military and uh, uh, officers, uh, some officers uh, from mainland, uh, they came to Taiwan and have done some uh, policy. This is the historical picture. Uh, I was uh, taking on the October 25th in 1945, uh, Japan surrenders uh, the, there to the allies of the World War II in Taipei. So this is the day. Uh, this is the day we will call the um, retrocession day. Uh, then Taiwan became a part of the Republic of China. During the time, according to the uh, newspaper and uh, some record, uh, many Taiwanese people, they are celebrate on the street. They welcome uh, the managers came to Taiwan and they celebrate the, the Taiwan can be back to uh, 
uh, China. Uh, there's a news report uh, in 1945 through 1947, um, mainland Chinese uh, officers were unable to maintain the basic public services, uh, including uh, power plants, trains, and uh, buses. The soldiers often claimed ownership of houses and the land. Uh, this is the um, <coughs> a news port record, uh, so they reveal there are some uh, dissatisfaction arise uh, among the Taiwanese people. Yeah. So I would uh, say there are many conflicts uh, happened between the Taiwanese and uh, mainlanders. In this place, uh, we will call Taiwanese uh, uh, to refer those people who live in Taiwan before 1945. And mainlanders uh, refer to those people came to Taiwan after 1945. Uh, although uh, great brotherly are uh, all called Chinese, but actually there are some situation happened during the time. Uh, Taiwanese people, they witnessed uh, some military disciplines uh, is corrupt. Yes. Uh, military Soviet soldiers, they came to uh, Taiwan, uh, as the last uh, slide has shown, the um, soldiers will take food, take the product from uh, common people. Yeah. They, they don't follow a very strict uh, discipline. Then there's a culture and the language conflict uh, between the two groups. The Taiwanese people use the dialect uh, and also Japanese. However, mainlanders, they use uh, Chinese and they don't speak Japanese. They don't know how to speak uh, Fujian dialect. There's a cultural conflict. And the government uh, from China, they will take a, a huge amount of the uh, product like the rice and also the start the uh, coal mining. Uh, they, they will export uh, the rice and the coal uh, back to China because there's a war uh, happened between the um, Nationalist, uh, the KMT, Kuomintang, and also the and the Communist Party in China. Therefore, uh, we are experience the uh, severe inflation and the food shortage uh, among Taiwanese people. Yeah. They will experience the uh, price of the rice, price of the sugar, price of the uh, common commodities. They were. Uh, inflation, like the price go up to 10 times uh, as usual. And there's a if effect also uh, shown the discrimination against uh, uh, Taiwan people. Because uh, mainlander, when they came to Taiwan, they will see those um, Taiwanese people who know how to speak Japanese as a second rate uh, uh, citizen. Um, and uh, the Chinese are the uh, rescuer uh, of the Taiwan. Therefore, the uh, discrimination and also the uh, uh, unfair situation happen among the two uh, people. And there was a uh, event very important in the history happened in 1947. Those uh, uh, ear feelings between the two groups uh, came to a very big event uh, happened on the February 28th, uh, 1947. Uh, the situation happened uh, the day before, uh, before February 28th. At the night, there's a plane close uh, palace police officers uh, who injured the uh, Taiwanese uh, woman 
and she is uh, she was selling a uh, black market cigarette to make a living. Yeah. However, very serious incident uh, happened. Uh, the gunshot uh, um, a citizen and um, caused the, the death. Therefore, widespread uh, civil disobedience or rebellion caused thousands of the deaths of Taiwanese people. And that event uh, exist, uh, existed uh, almost uh, uh, three weeks later. Um, the government from mainland China, they decided to send uh, more soldiers uh, came to Taiwan. And therefore, more Taiwanese people were either killed or put in jail. Uh, that would cause a lot of the uh, conflict and also uh, rivalry among the Taiwanese and uh, mainlanders. Uh, we call the event uh, February 28. I have the question for you. Uh, the question is, uh, during World War II, uh, many Taiwanese volunteered for military service. Uh, is this true? Or is this false? I think my answer to it is true. Um, why? Because uh, at that time, Taiwan was part of the Japanese uh, colonization. Therefore, Taiwanese uh, see themselves as uh, Japanese. Therefore, we should, uh, the people should volunteer for the military service in order to guide, to guard our, uh, the country. So the country was uh, uh, Japan. And this is why the, called the Taiwanese young people, they volunteer for military service yeah, in the most uh, situations. And this is the end of the session. Thank you.